What's good, what's up, and what's happening, Blaze family? You're now tuning in to a Blaze Mind Science Center video with me, Madison Averhart. And today, guys, I'm going to be doing a tutorial, a tutorial on my microscope because there are a lot of questions and honestly there are some questions that were asked that I didn't even know so I had to look into it <laughs> and um, I'm gonna show a clip from Amscope about the microscope so y'all can see firsthand what it's like and then I'm gonna go over it by like me just playing around with the microscope so if y'all wanna stay tuned and see what I'm doing what like hands-on what I'm doing with the microscope stay tuned or you can just click out after you see what Amscope said so stay tuned <music> saw was the Amscope tutorial of the microscope, the Amscope microscope. And right now what I'm about to do is just do a little hands-on tutorial myself with this microscope, how I like it, what the features are and what I think about it. Um, Cause there's a lot of questions that have been asked. So I kind of want to address certain questions. So let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> All right, so first things first, is the camera what side does it go on um and why there's only one side that the camera goes on and your camera is going to go in this side um why i guess because it doesn't have like this thing right here it's kind of just like a solid so it just kind of goes in there the lens board thing goes 360 you can turn it all the way around like that I think that's really cool um, these are 180 I want to say this is a very sciencey <laughs> I'm kind of just like doing the things that I know off the top now there was a guy that just asked me a question and it was does it do like a dark what was it a filter condent like does this microscope have a filter condenser like place filters like dark field and it does and that part is literally right here uh and they it comes with it so when you get your microscope you'll get this and you're like oh my god what is that because that's what i did um but it is for the uh, dark field microscopy and you just grab it try to go with the edges i know i kind of just like put my fingers on it but It'll go in this little socket right here. And then you just close it. And then when you look at your image through here, it'll appear like, because ours was blue or mine was blue, my images are gonna appear blue. Um, so that's that. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably already know the common, um, you know, microscope anatomy. So I'm not gonna go into that. I did order some Amscope slides and I think it came with 25. It came with 25 slides and it looks like this. It's very nice. It's very organized. They have, I, I know I mentioned this in the last video, but anyway, we're going to look at it. I wouldn't view like stuff that has been stained already. I don't like things that have been stained. You probably don't need to use the dark field microscopy for this like I'm gonna take it out because I have no use for it right now so I'm taking it out and I'm gonna put it back in the plastic because that is not it at all I didn't like that okay yeah and see it's already stained so everything's already good Hey 
guys okay so i'm gonna talk about the lens quality um from my perspective and how i think about it so what y'all just saw y'all saw 4x 10x 40x and the oil magnification which is 100x and basically from what y'all have seen and how i perceived it i think that 4x and 10x have the best quality simply because it gives you a clear picture it gives you exactly what you're looking for um now once you get into the 40x and 100x the the picture is not as clear um when you're taking a picture with your phone or just looking at it with the naked eye um personally i would give it about a 3.9 4.2 in that range uh in regards to the quality at that uh, specific magnification now 4x and 10x i'm gonna give it a five out of five the quality looks great um it's clear it's precise it's giving you what you need um however that specific s detail at 40x and at uh, the oil magnification it does like you see it like it's giving you the picture however it's just not you know it's not as clear as you'd probably like it to be that's my opinion of the magnification um you know it's it's a good microscope i recommend um however if you're looking for magnification at that level <clears throat> you might want to go with a different microscope if you would like to um however overall i'm gonna give this microscope <laughs> 4.7 just because I said that very hesitantly. I was going to say 4.5, but I'm going to say 4.7 simply because I just, I like my microscope. It, it has literally every detail that I need uh, specifically for me and my uses. Um, other people may have other things they, they don't like about it, but for me, I like it suits me well <laughs> so uh if y'all have any more questions please don't hesitate to ask i would love to do another video on this okay so that's all we have for you guys today um i love you guys y'all know the drill stay beautiful stay blessed and stay blaze for christ i love y'all peace shalom